Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here. Welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Trillion. Continuing from where we left off, let's take on Moku. Can we actually win a fight on this game? <laughs> At last, we shall see. Doesn't help that I can't use healing items yet. Can I actually use a skill that will hit one of them? I won't let you go. I'll smash you. dead because of the miasma. I don't think I can defeat this guy at the moment, so... Damn it. I can't believe it. Are we still this powerless against Trillian? Well, the result here was obvious. B what? Wait. What do you mean by that, Faust? See, I told you. She's just making a mockery of everyone here. I didn't say you could defeat it alone. Obvious? Alone? <laughs> what do you mean? Explain yourself. It's exactly what I said. You can't defeat it alone. But each one facing it can inflict a deadly strike. Right, okay, so what I said in an earlier episode is correct then. I'm guessing you'll have to sacrifice characters along the way and just do damage when you can. Great Overlord, do you remember when you impaled Trillian with Astaroth's sword? The sword he left behind, as if he passed the torch to you? In a similar manner, you imparted your will onto the Overlords. The future will be passed on to the next bearing the torch. The Overlord's training data is collected and stored in the Ring of the Tyrant. No training will be wasted. So it will carry over to the next character. That, Sweet! All the damage inflicted onto Trillian will amass to bring it down at the very end. So you're telling us to willingly offer ourselves to be a foundation to the Underworld? Actually, I might be incorrect there. I thought it meant that... Once a character dies, their stats carry over to the next character, but I don't think it means that. I think what she means is we gather data as we fight it and, you know, that means we're more ready for the next time. Wait a sec! That just means you're telling us to die! Yep. We're going to die? And you're the first one to be sacrificed, little girl! I want you all to understand. That's just how powerful a thing you're facing. So, it's that powerful, is it? <laughs> I wonder when my turn will come. Oh, I simply cannot wait. <sighs> if you want to fight that badly, how about you switch? Like now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you jest. It's not my place to take honor away from others. <laughs> so you're scared, aren't you? My, being as greedy as you are, I'm surprised you're willing to let someone else have the first shot at becoming the Great Overlord. I recall She's you got saying a point. something about opportunity and wanting to take the throne, hmm? W well... <laughs> My dear, 
If you're not going to follow through on your grand boasting, then just say you can't win and that you're afraid of dying. Why, you... Oh, did I speak a bit of truth there? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're asking for it! Calm down, ladies. Please calm down, Lady Mammon. Lady <laughs> Ashmedia. Remember that you speak in front of the Great Overlord. Shut up! You heard her! She's making fun of me! Calm down, Mammon. Death is inevitable for all that live. But there is no shame in fearing it. Look at me. I am one who is devoid of strength, yet defies death. I am merely a fool. Come on, Great Overlord. Don't say that. Now, Faust, is there no other way? You should know the answer to your question very well after fighting Trillian yourself. Damn it. Dear brother. Must I order my loyal subjects to throw their lives away? I cannot fight. Yet I cannot choose to die either while the ring is in use. What's going on here? Look at all of you with your gloomy faces. Who's this? Oh my god, she's cute. <laughs> your Hey there! Long time no see, Zabalos! Grandma Lilith! She's a grandma! She's a hot grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm truly sorry. It was just a slip of the tongue and... What? Did you say something? No, nothing. Lady Lilith was the first great overlord's wife, and the mother of my father, making her my grandmother, but... I can't seem to defy her, even now, after becoming the great overlord. She doesn't oh, look old at all? Could you please not tease my dear brother? But I suppose in most games, when it comes to demons, they age, you know, slowly and they live a really long time, so... Well now, you're a good girl as usual, aren't you, Elma? L Lady Lilith, we have an urgent matter! It, the God of Destruction, has appeared in the Underworld again! The God of Destruction? You've got to be kidding! Seriously? Like, for real? For reals! Speaking of which, Grand... Lady Lilith. <laughs> most of you happen to recall the first battle against the God of Destruction. Oh, come on, Diabolos. I'm the heroine that faced the God of Destruction together with Daddy, you know? Daddy? You know, my darling! My super cool husband, the first great overlord, Satan! Uh, sure. Great overlord? Is that all you have to say? I never knew that Lady Lilith fought the God of Destruction before! Ah, yes. It, it just occurred to me. <laughs> Scatterbrain. Come to think of it, the records from the first battle against the God of Destruction were quite vague. All it mentioned was that the entire force put their lives at stake and stopped its advancement. Lady Lilith, could you please give us any details? Oh, please. Great Overlord! What's the matter, Baphomet? I'd like to hear about it too. Well, I would as well! Well, well, who's this cutie? Her name is Faust. She's assisting us in defeating the God of Destruction. Well then, I need to thank you for taking care of my dear little Diablo. Well, who else thinks Grandma's hot? Grandma Lilith? Waifu potential? Maybe. <laughs> Ghost, aren't you? Did you die when you fought the God of Destruction in its previous assault? Bingo! I really like smart girls like you. Information from those with battle experience is very important. Tell me more on what happened. I didn't think she was a ghost because although she's got those like kind of wispy fireballs next to her, like her character is quick is well quite solid isn't it it's like it's not transparent or see-through and normally with ghost type characters they either give them like a glow or make them a little bit see-through or faded not just floaty wisps <laughs> mm, sure 
I guess. But I don't think it'll help that much, you know. Uh, Daisy Lily. But that's... Oh, come on. This isn't really the time to hide things. Hide? What are you implying? Okay. Let's take this slowly, shall we? Oh, uh, but I'm warning you. What I'm going to say really won't help. After all, I was like the first one who died. <laughs> <laughs> what a misfortune to befall your beautiful youth, Lady Lilith. Well, <laughs> I was like the super cute idol of the underworld and super strong, too. But then I died super fast and the rest of the forces took a major hit. Well, suppose what I said earlier is a bit irrelevant because if she's a ghost and she died young, that's why she looks young as a ghost. <laughs> so in the end, we couldn't do anything, and then the god of destruction ate the underworld's core. It ate the core that supports the underworld. Yep, it like gobbled it up in a jiffy. Yay! Someone else who says jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> what a disgrace! And now. To hear it out in the open. I know. It must have been super, super hungry. Huh? Does that mean the underworld's core is tasty? Stop acting stupid at a time like this. Ouch! <laughs> it hurts, sis. Wow, bitch slapped. You really are dense, aren't you? If we lose the core, the underworld would be destroyed. Hmm, but I think Perpy is right. Maybe it was just hungry. You too, Lady Lilith? Well, it did leave the underworld as soon as it finished eating the core. And then it left pretty much unharmed, too. That was so embarrassing! <sighs> Wait, so the Great Overlord didn't defeat it? Ha <laughs> ha! So, did it go home to sleep? Of course not. It isn't like you, you know. Lady Lilith lost many of her comrades. And with the core gone, the underworld was about to meet its demise. But it was then that the first great overlord used his very own heart to create a new core. Yep, so that's the core that's supporting the underworld now. The underworld core. So then, the first great overlord's life is now this underworld itself. Wow. Well, that shows that he was an awesome um, overlord to sacrifice his own heart to make sure the underworld stayed intact. Great grandfather's so super! Super cool, more like. Of course he is! After all, our great grandfather is the founder and hero of the underworld! Whatever the case, that's the truth behind all this. Great Overlord, I am truly sorry. I actually hid this information from you of my own accord. Ah, oh, it doesn't inspire confidence though. It's not been defeated before. Can we actually do no this? Need to apologize. I assume you hid it to protect the first great overlord's name. Which makes sense, yeah. I appreciate your discretion. D great Overlord! So, despite having the power to revive the nearly destroyed underworld, the first Great Overlord was still unable to defeat the God of Destruction. Hey, lighten up! A Great Overlord isn't supposed to have such a gloomy look, Diabolos! <laughs> well, to be fair, can you blame him after finding this out? Uh, Lady Lilith, situation isn't like how it was back then. That cute girl beside you is helping out, right? All I'm doing is offering possibilities. Possibilities are wonderful! <laughs> I mean, back then we didn't have any means to defeat it. The only thing we had was resignation and despair. But the underworld now has a super core! In other words, it's supported by the power of daddy's love. You've got the edge, you know? I see. If the Underworld's core is made of the first great overlord's heart, then the entire realm is under his protection. And now we know the whole story. 
We must not let the God of Destruction trample across the Underworld, which is supported by the First Great Overlord's heart. I won't well ask said. you to forgive my pathetic soul for expecting you to do the impossible, but... Her pal is gonna do her best! I love the Underworld! You're probably gonna die. I am <laughs> to serve our Great Overlord and to offer my own life to save the Underworld. I'll do my best. But if I beat the crap out of it myself, nobody better make a stink about it. Oh my. Leave some morsels for me, too. In return, anyone else can take the throne of the Great Overlord. Sabo Chen doesn't need to worry about a thing. Everyone's here, so it'll be all right. <laughs> She's cute. I. I don't know, there's so many different ladies I like in this. I really like how sleepy this one is. Fagor, is it? I think that's how you say it. Thank you, everyone. Stop saying that, you weakly whip! If any of us beats Trillion, you're going to be dethroned. Got that? Of course. Just as the first great overlord put everything at stake, I'm willing to offer everything I have as well. It's as simple as that. If you want to rule the Underworld, use all your might to defeat the God of Destruction. Don't hold back. You don't have to tell us that. If my turn comes, I'll finish it before you even notice. Heh, <laughs> we'll see about that. Then, the age of the great Overlord Ruche will come! You hear that, Diabolos? I'm going to make you bow down before me! Prepare yourself! That will be interesting to see. <laughs> well, she's got confidence, I'll give her that. <laughs> That's the spirit! Just keep smiling, my cute Diabolos! You get your looks from Daddy, so don't let them go too ways! Looks like everyone's on the same page now. Well then, let's continue the training until it awakens, shall we? Right, will it let me equip items yet or not? It still won't let me, why? Oh, it will. Oh, I was doing it wrong all this time. Right, bite-sized bits of energy, small HP recovery. Slightly rotten, but sweet, small MP recovery. Right, let's go over to the research uh -huh. lab. Go ahead, choose. Are you sure? It's not what I wanted. Are you sure? Understood. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Understood. Mm -hmm. That isn't enough. Is there anything else? Come again. Well, I was doing it wrong all this time. That's annoying. Do some more training. What was it I wanted to do again? Um, so 
So really, I need to do aura and charm at the moment. Well, that's fine. Let's do this one. Well, it's a learning process, isn't it? I can't believe that I messed up on the items, though. All this time, I could have used restorative items. Oh, well. <laughs> well, this is inappropriate. <laughs> Probably too tired now. Oh, no. Wow, look at the doctor! He's like a zombie! I think it's time to rest soon. What she found. I'll go first. Because I'm protecting you and making sure it's not poisonous. <laughs> Disgusting. I think she might like it though, she likes sweet things. Oh no! Okay, she doesn't like it. <laughs> so you don't like the taste of it and you're gonna give it as a gift. That's just mean.
secret training. You're not just a tool. She's jealous and she's envy. <laughs> Can I touch you? Whoa, 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 where's this heading? Understood. Right, let's have proper sleep now. Okay guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and stop this episode here. I think on the next episode I might attempt the Valley of Swords now that I've finally figured out what I was doing wrong with items. I can't believe I was so stupid. Um, yeah, I had to go over here, move it from storage to equipment. I thought if I selected this it would bring up my items but it wouldn't let me. So yeah, simple mistake but I know how to use them now at least. So I should have them in battle, which means I can heal myself, which hopefully means we can actually win a fight at last. Fingers crossed. Let's not jinx it. <laughs> okay, so don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. Remember, interaction is very important on this series. It shows me you guys are enjoying it, so I shall make sure that I upload more videos of the game. So thank you for watching and take it easy guys.